Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to go shopping to Kirkland's. I'm going to be focusing mainly on home decor for 2024. And the reason for that, I'm going to explain later on in the video. But essentially, we're going to go all around the store and I'm going to showcase the best finds or my favorite finds that I think are going to be great home decor pieces for your home in 2024. I'm also wanting to take a second in the intro of this video to thank today's sponsor Flexi Spot. Thank you so much to them for making this content possible and thank you so much to you for also making it possible. If you enjoyed this video please subscribe and also follow me on Instagram for more updates over there. Thank you so much for being here and without any further ado let's just jump right into the video. It's been months since the last time I visited Kirkland's, so I wanted the first trip of 2024 to be more about the year-round home decor. While Kirkland's is not a designer home decor store, they are also not the most affordable one. And for that reason, I think it's worth to shop here for those items that we will use year-round on our home. Maybe those things that we consider worth investing in rather than those seasonal items that we may only use a few months out of of the year. So in this video I scatter around the store looking into different home categories to find the best decor that I consider is worth investing in for year-round purposes. In this section I saw these antique looking desk gloves which they have in a couple of different sizes. These faces definitely have a lot of character to them and can be very versatile as to how you could style them. And these round decorations are wrapped in rattan and they are perfect for an office desk or shelf decor. Also found these farmhouse looking vases with that deep reddish earthy color which should help bring a lot of warmth to your space. I thought that these woven earth globes were quite the original piece as I've never seen anything like this before. And these cottage style candle holders come in that natural wood tone in two different sizes to choose from. These rustic dishes were a showstopper for me. The small handles on the sides make it look like they are handmade pieces. They do have a blue undertone to them. Right above that, they have these metal candlesticks. They are thin, but they are made to hold thicker candles. But for tapered candle holders, I found these brass ones. They come in three different sizes. The only thing I wish for these is that the base was a bit more slim. Next up, this gorgeous pottery vase, which is beautiful with the greenery or on its own. They certainly style it so beautiful at the store. And I'll share the price for those stems in a minute. It. The table lamps was definitely the section that impressed me the most this time around. This forest green table lamp had such a modern silhouette. This vase they had right next to it matches very nicely with those earthy tones of brown and green combined with a modern shape. And this off-white lamp. This one has very tiny line marks all around it. This simple detail really adds up to the character of the piece. It is rustic yet delicate and even though $100 is expensive, I do think this looks designer-like which can turn this into a more affordable option compared to buying an actual designer piece. Which brings me to my next point. These lamps look designer-like, but I don't see them as a direct dupe for designer pieces. And that is a positive thing because it actually makes these original pieces that, while they're not the most affordable options, they're certainly not selling for those astronomical prices that we see on high-end designer stores. That being said, if you like the transitional style of decor, you don't have the budget for designer pieces, but dupes aren't really your thing, and you want something mid-tier on your price pricing and quality point, I'd say Kirkland's is a great place to consider for your home decor. Another category of decor that I love seeing on this day was the wall decor. This piece right here was too far up and I couldn't see the pricing, but everything from paints and mirrors is really popping this year. These mirrors are an affordable dupe for the famous anthropology ones, and nowadays even Walmart and Hobby Lobby sell dupes for these. But I'd say the biggest difference with these is the patina effect on the brass, which not only elevates the piece so much, but it is truly hard to tell that these are not that $900 mirror from Anthropology. So yes, these are dupes, but I'd say they are higher end dupes compared to those other ones that I've showcased from 
other stores. But if you are looking for a more rustic option, this woven one is beautiful and it has a great size, which can help you create that wow effect on your entryway. My local Kirkland's happens to have this section full of wall decor, so let's see what they've got. This is a sketch wall art, which I think it's perfect to pair on a vintage wall gallery. And it comes with that wooden frame. Same as the case with this horse sketch, only that this one comes in that oval shape, which I also love. This right here was my favorite wall decor piece that I saw in the store on this day. It almost came home with me and I love the neutral tones of the flowers. But if you are looking for a little bit more color, this is a great option as well. And I think the dark background gives it so much character. This one is an oversized piece and it happened to be on clearance. This one is perfect for a fireplace mantle, but this will also depend on the size of the wall. This one is really charming and the frame looks like an antique piece. I really like the warm tones that it has. And this painting from Amsterdam, or at least that's what it looks like to me, is cheerful, colorful, very classic looking, and very nice to look at. This forest is also very charming because of the way of how it's framed, but for something a bit more moody, this is a great option on the more affordable side. I found this piece on clearance on this day and I personally really like it. It does remind me to one piece from Hobby Lobby and another one from Home Goods. The only difference is that this one is an oil paint. This one was also on clearance, but my favorite thing about it is the double colored frame. It's almost worth buying it only for the frame and then switching the art at home, but only do that if you're sure you can do this. I bought a couple of framed art pieces at Hobby Lobby this year. Since they are the same piece and I just bought two of them, my intention was switching the art. But after buying them, I realized this idea was not that easy to execute. So I'm trying to decide now if I should take the risk or if I should just place each one on different areas of my house. Let me know in the comment section down below if you have any tips for doing this. Near the kitchen section, I did find cute pieces to place around your kitchen, including this one, which is perfect for a farmhouse style of decor. These, which I also thought were really cute and charming. And then these that I found randomly, but also love the color of the flowers and the dark background. Many of you have expressed in the comment section of my videos that you are looking for wall baskets for the spring season, so I wanted to show you these options right here. After that, I moved to the kitchen section where I found these beautiful oversized wooden boards and something this size would retail at around $50 at Hobby Lobby this year. Then these collections for cups and glasses, these fluted ones are so pretty, modern and elegant looking. But on the rustic side, I found these and loved the royal blue rim that they have on them. And I'm going to interrupt this video a little bit to talk about an item that I definitely think it's worth investing not only for your home decor, but also for your home functionality. And I'm talking about the Flexi Spot Desk. I've had my Flexi Spot Desk since April of 2023. I got it in a collaboration with the brand and I have to be honest, I have not stopped using it. I have a work from home job and I work many hours per day. And this has been the most comfortable desk that I've ever owned. The reason is because you can adjust the height of the desk depending on the position that you want to be working in, whether that is sitting down or standing up. I also I also love that this desk is super sturdy and it's super versatile to the style of decor that I have on my office and I think I spoke about this on my spring decorate with me video that I posted in February but this desk is definitely one that I'm not planning to change in a long time. This desk actually helped me overcome carpal tunnel syndrome last year. I used to get really really bad nerve pain around my arm due to to the poor position that I used to sit down and work all day. But with this desk, I'm able to not only adjust the desk 
to the height of my arms but I'm also able to have my computer and my monitor at the correct eyesight by being able to adjust the desk and also having the bamboo stand which allows me to have my arms in the right position and my eyesight straight forward. So I really love this desk. I think it's a great investment for your home office if you do have a work from home job like I do. I also spend many other hours outside of my work editing these videos for you all on this desk. So this desk is actually a big part of the behind the scenes of my content creation and I also spend a lot of time here doing Bible study, doing my devotionals on the weekends, and also doing my bullet journal. And I never get tired because I am so comfortable in this desk and I also love the atmosphere in my office. I love that this desk is super sturdy and high quality and you can definitely introduce it to many different styles of decor. This is a brand that I really like because I have used this product for almost a year myself and my desk is still looking brand new like the day I received it in the box. If you're looking for a new desk for your home, I'll make sure to leave my FlexiSpot E7 desk linked down in my description box for you all. Thank you so much to them for sponsoring this video. Back to Kirkland's and in this kitchen section I found these cutting boards. The one on the right is ceramic and the one on the left is of course wood. They have this really charming collection for your kitchen with ceramic accessories combining white and royal blue. These pieces definitely can go into a traditional antique farmhouse or even coastal style of decor. If you like cooking with fresh garlic this container is a must. I have one and I think it's pretty useful. This one for your onion it's more like a canister and large enough to fit quite a few of them. This hand soap dispenser is really cute but I personally prefer see-through ones so you can tell when the dispenser is low on soap. But the salt and pepper shakers are great to always keep on your dining table at all times for decor and functionality. And these coasters are nothing but charming, although I do think they're a little bit expensive for a set of five. Then the set of three canisters for $50, which brings the cost of each one of them at about $17 a piece, which is not bad. These wooden spoons also caught my eye because of the handle design. They are so pretty and you can just have them exposed among your kitchen utensils. Walking around the store, I randomly found these woven side and coffee tables that are on clearance. But this blanket ladder is super beautiful and the pricing is not bad for the size of the piece. And one thing I cannot leave without checking out at Kirkland's is their wreath and greenery section. Fun fact, I look at my first Kirkland's video that I posted in the early spring of 2021 and the pricing for these wreaths was $35 each and I thought that was overpriced back then because honestly it really was. Now I've always thought that these wreaths are very overpriced but they're definitely very beautiful to look at. They also seem to be made with higher quality than, say, Michael's reeds, where sometimes the glue is visible among the greenery. That is never the case with these, which is why if you think it's worth investing in one of these, I'd say go for it. Remember this vase from earlier in this video? Well, the greenery inside is actually an assortment of pieces that go from $9.99 to $12.99. There is white and pink florals, and like I said, they really style it super pretty at the store. This little station here also contains an assortment of beautiful pieces. I happened to pick the eucalyptus one for $12.99 a branch. These right here seem to have more of a discolored hue of green, which can definitely be a preference. And then this other piece that I'm gonna pick up right here is more on the bluish hue of a green, which is also very beautiful. And I really like those elongated leaves that some of those stems have. But on the other hand, these right here have a beautiful rich tone of forest green. The video is actually catching up the color as it looks in real life. And this is actually my favorite stem that I saw on this shopping trip. Might have been ideal for winter decor. 
that is going to be everything for today's video thank you so so much for watching as usual let me know in the comment section down below what was your favorite item that i shared with you today if i had to choose one because i liked a lot of the things that i saw on this day but if i had to choose one i would definitely go with the table lamps i think they are beautiful even though i can't really say they are high-end dupes or affordable dupes i do believe they look more expensive than what they are they look designer like they look high quality but at the same time because they don't really exactly resemble a table lamp from a designer then you can call it more of a unique piece which I also really like so I'm definitely going to be looking into going back to Kirkland's and maybe buying one or two of those lamps for my own home I just have to have the vision first but really love them that's my favorite find of the day thank you so much for being here if you haven't already and you enjoyed this video please subscribe also if you want to learn more about my flexi spot desk i'll make sure to leave a link in my description box for you all once again thank you so much for taking time of your day to watch my videos and without any further ado i really hope i can see you in my next one bye